You got clutch. What's going on, people? It's your main man, Johnny Clutch Cards, back again with another Block Packs video. Um, we are getting ready to uh, open our infinite moments. We were able to purchase one box uh, with our, uh, due to us owning a geek, we were able to get in and purchase a box of infinite moments. This will be 20 moments um, and various, you know, various, uh, various rarities and, in, in uh, moments themselves. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into them. Let me switch the audio over right quick. Put the audio over there. You know, doing a little mixing on my side. Here we go. Now let's see what we get out of these 20 infinite moments. Okay, we got Steven Spielberg. This is a common moment and it is Bigger Boat. Steven Spielberg releases the suspenseful masterpiece Jaws which would become one of the most recognizable movies in history. June 20th, 1975. All right, that's one. So we got the next one. This one's red, maybe. But it got a lot of the little explosion on it. Okay, yeah, it is red. Okay, we got Infinite Mon Mandela released. After 27 years, Nelson Mandela, leader of the movement to end South African apartheid, is released from prison on February 11th of 1990. All right. All right. We got another common. Daryl Dawkins shatters the rim. Chocolate Thunder, you know, broke the rim back on November 13th, 1979. All right. So that's another common. This is, this is, that's another common. Perfect unit. Striking out 13 batters. Randy Johnson throws his 17th perfect game. The 17th perfect game in Major League Baseball history. Okay, maybe this one is special. Okay, I think that's a blue one. One of 99 um, on board space shuttle Challenger for mission. Okay, first American woman in space. Sally Ride becomes the first American woman in space. Okay, these are all pretty cool, unique, I think MJ's first ring, Bulls defeat the Lakers, June 12th, 1991. That's the like Mike. Like Mike, if I could be like Mike. Anyway, you had to be there. Okay, here's another out of 99 moment. Um, this is Mandela. So I think we got two different color Mandelas now. See, so that's, that's how you can see it. So think of it like that. There's different colors uh, that have different rarities and uh, you know, some moments repeat, some moments don't, you know, depending on the number of moments in that particular set, I think. Um, JFK assassination. Yeah, that's, don't even want, we all know what happened that day, 1963. All right, let's see what we got here. This is like another common 10 moments down, 10 to go. Okay, here's a yellow. There's a yellow. How many is that out of? Yellow is out of 10. Wow. Yager's first, Yama Yager's first goal. October 7th, 1990. Two days before I turned 12. Okay, now we got another blue one. Okay, this is a deep blue. That's one out of 50. We've had a problem. Okay, explosion into the mixture of oxygen tank to... 56 hours into, okay, Apollo 13, 1970. All right, let's see. Okay, we're going back to commons. Come on, Walt Disney World has this grand opening. All right, well, we got six left. Let's see. We can't scoop through these. Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. TB12. Let's see what we got here. John Madden football drops. Now that is a commemorative moment right there. June 1st, 1980. Okay, four more to go. Let's see where we're at. Oh, is it, who is it? Where? Oh, Demarcus Ware. I'm thinking Andre Ware. You have to be really old to know who Andre Ware is. Don't worry about it. Or from Houston, one or two. Uh, makes video game debut in games Charizard. Okay, cool. Two more. Last two, folks. Last two. Hopefully, we can hit something. Watergate scandal. Nixon resigns. 
Last one. Uh, ugh. No, no, I got one more. Pink Floyd releases out. I'm hoping we can get one more. That's a color. Nope, another common. Daytona Torch Pass. Dale Earnhardt wins his Daytona. So there you have it. Let's view those. Let's go to our open C. We're going to take a look at them. Jump to open C here. Go to our profile here on open C. I'll show here. As you can see, uh, our collection has grown considerably. If you go back to the old videos and then you come look at this, you're like, yo, what happened? All right. So. Oh, okay. What the? I don't even know what this is. What is this? Okay. So this is a crowd slab that they gave us. A Jordan crowd slab. So cool. That's interesting. Then, I, I don't know. Okay. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so these are the utility inserts. Okay, those are utility inserts. And then these are the 20 moments that we just opened. Now, this one, let's click on this one. This one is considered what tier? This one is considered a gold, right? And the goals are out of 10. And who? Man, you can sell a gold. For 0 0.075 uh, weave, right? So keep that in mind, right? So some people are going to be looking to complete sets because you get all these bonuses for completing sets. Um, just holding each, you're gonna you're gonna get uh, a pack in the elite drop for each uh, infinite moment that you hold, right? That you're holding. Um, but if you got some of these more rare ones what you might be able to do is to sell those to recoup your money back right because we spent a hundred dollars on the infinite moments box so we could sell that sell this one make our money back plus a hundred bucks and then everything else is gravy so we could sell all these oh that's 80 bucks or we could sell uh how much is this one this one is 30 bucks this is the, the and that's the low price on moments of this color of this uh tier you see that one's 15 bucks right so now what we could do is we could look to make a complete set of commons just to start off just to have a complete set of the common level right because these are going to go for six bucks five bucks a piece roughly but if we sell off these more expensive ones, then what we're able to do, what we're going to be able to do is then take those and use them to fill out this set. So we can have a complete set and we can buy more infinite moments at a cheaper price and try to stack up as many uh, packs in the regular drop, in the elite drop with the hopes of winning, right? Because then the more tickets you have there, then you can also sell those there. So now I'm starting to get the feel for it as before I was trying to understand how, why you would want to do this other than to throw money at a problem. Um, so pretty interesting. So let me know what you think about this. Um, we should be coming in. I think they have a Kobe drop starting here pretty, pretty soon. And then an elite drop to follow. So I'm very intrigued to see uh, how we can play this. I'm going to keep you guys posted. I'll probably do an extra video this uh, this weekend about it just to let you know where I'm at and what's going on. Um, but we open packs today, so that was really good. And I think, uh, like I said, there'll be a cover drop and then there'll be an elite drop. Um, so I'll, I'll check that and I'll do an update video here. This is just really more for the pack opening to show you guys uh, what happens when you purchase a, a case of infinite moments. As you can see, we got infinite moments. Most of the vast majority of them were common. But we got a couple blues, a couple of these, which are out of 99. And then we got a couple of 
we only got one dark blue, which is our 50, and one red, which is out of 25, and then one gold, which is out of 10. So that should give us some options here as far as, as far as, uh, you know, how we go, how we decide to play this. So I'm pretty intrigued. I'm pre I'm more, I'm more motivated now, now that I see this. So we're going to see what happens. Um, they're actually planning a get together during the national, the, the sports cards, uh, national convention, which is in, I think July, June or July in, uh, Atlantic City. I think it's June. Um, so we were debating going at first, but if we figure this out, we might go. We might go. We might go. Let me know what you're thinking. Are you going to the National uh, this year? What do you think about this whole card collecting thing and the whole NFT stuff and how everything ties together? Um, I think it works well. I think it ties into a lot of stuff that's being done in the in the card hobby now. When you see people on Instagram and they're doing five dollar cards and razzes and all this other stuff and you take that those concepts and then you tie them into the blockchain i think uh block packs is on a pretty good path i think it's on a very interesting path at least like i can't say i understand 100 percent of what's going on all the time with block packs but there's definitely um there's definitely a lot of thought put into how they are approaching moving forward with the things that they're doing I think they're doing a lot of different things in different areas. Uh, they're moving in a lot of different directions, um, which could be, uh, you know, harmful to the to the overall progress of the of the project long term. But I think, you know, if they if they you know if they stay diligent and they find the things that work and and weed out the things that don't work, I think uh, this this could be a very uh, a very interesting project going forward. Uh, at any rate, hey, that's what I got for you. My name is Johnny Clutch Cards, a.k.a. Johnny Clutch Crypto. I'm always for the people, by the people. You only got me and the Constitution. Peace.